Good morning. Every person's life follows a different trajectory, a different path. One of the worst things we can do is compare our life to the life of someone else and feel like it's inferior, like it's not as flashy and not as special. Because of the trajectory of my life, I didn't live alone until I was 35. And that was a whole different experience for me, as I'm sure for many of you. When I first moved out, I left all the boxes packed in the garage. And I'd say I probably did that for maybe six months. I just took what I needed and I left everything else in the garage in boxes because I just couldn't settle. I couldn't feel like I was enough in the house. <laughs> I kept looking for somebody else to come through the door, for um, another person to be shopping for, for um, considerations to be made on how I wanted to speak, spend my weekend. It was hard for me to be present because all I wanted to do was go back to where I was familiar with my surroundings and with my experiences. My friend told me one of the most important things that's worked in her life is the, the sage wisdom that says, be here now. Be here now. You've got today, you've got the present moment, be here now. We have so much going on in the world. We've got unrest, we have pandemic, we have economic fallout, we have a lot going on. And um, it's hard to find a peacefulness within. It might also feel like it's hard to stay in the present moment. Like, I want to make change. I want to be making a difference in my life right now. I want to um, move forward and make this world a better place to live. The thing is, tomorrow isn't ours yet. We get a little greedy if we start to lay claim on tomorrow. And yesterday, it makes no sense to have regrets over yesterday unless we can learn from yesterday. All we have now is now. We have today. That's the only tool in our hands. That's the only vehicle through which we can make change is today. Be here now. So it's a temptation to want to push today aside and get to tomorrow. Believe me, in my line of work too, I'm always planning ahead two or three years with calendars, trying to make dates and arrangements with other people to get it down. It's hard to stay in the present. It's something we want to, like I said, sometimes skip over. But a lot of our fellow human beings don't have today anymore. They only had yesterday. They've walked to the threshold. Some are walking to the threshold at this very moment of moving into a new reality. Their fingers are the only things holding on to today. Well, I'm standing firmly planted in today and I've actually written it on a sign and stuck it on my mirror because I don't live in the present enough, but it's a gift that God's given to me today. I've got it. And I can assume for 24 hours, what will I do with it? Hopefully I won't squander it, wishing I was in yesterday or hoping for tomorrow. Be here now and make the most of what God has given you, what you've got at hand. Use it well. Be wise. Stay present.